Today's video is all about doing remote photography with the brand new Sony a7 V. Let's get into it. Uh, it's very exciting. I'm really glad that there's now a kind of a reasonably priced uh, camera that will work great for sports photography and birds in flight and nature and all the kinds of things that we like to do with a fast camera like that, especially with pre-capture. One of the things people will do with this camera is they're going to use it for remotes because it's so much less expensive than the A1 Mark II or the A9 Mark III. To use a less expensive camera as a remote is always a good idea because sometimes they get hit with a puck or a ball or whatever. So um, a lot of us are very excited about um, this A7 V because it's going to be a perfect companion to the cameras that we already have like the A1, the A9s, and the uh, A1 Mark II. There's a problem though. Um, right now, there is no obvious way to connect a remote control feature to the camera. Uh, Sony decided to make uh, a double USB-C connection uh, to the camera, one for power and one for other things. The other things is what we don't really know about yet. And so there is no way right now to connect a Pocket Wizard, for instance, to an A7 V. Now, am I worried about this? A little bit. I think that Sony's going to have a solution, but they don't appear to have it right now. What we've been doing forever, back in Canon and Nikon days and Minolta 2, is we would buy the latest, greatest camera that had the fastest motor drive, because that always made the most sense for using as a remote camera. And then we would buy the uh, remote trigger, like a, it was like a push button on a cord that would go into the remote outlet of the camera. And we would take that cord and we would just cut it with the scissors and then we'd strip the wires back. And it didn't matter if there were three wires or four or five or just two. And we would start to, we would connect up that plug to the camera, turn it on, and then we'd start touching wires until all of a sudden the camera fired. And then we knew which two wires were the ones that we needed to make the connection with a pocket wizard. And so this has been happening forever. I mean, you know, starting with sewing machine, remote control pedals uh, that people have been using in baseball forever. Um, but there's no obvious way to do this right now with the A7 V. Now, the camera's not even shipping yet. So is it a big deal? Kind of, because a lot of us are gonna wanna buy this camera for remote control use and that there's not a solution apparent right now um, is a little concerning. But I, you know, if they can make a camera that's, you know, sub $3,000, that's that's 30 frames a second with pre-capture, they can certainly figure out how to make it remote control fire. Um, so anyway, uh, this is what's on my mind today. Uh, I'm very excited about the A7 V. I think it's gonna be a great camera. Is it gonna replace my A1 Mark II or my A1 or my A9 III? No, no, absolutely not. But is it gonna be great to have an inexpensive camera that I can you know, put up someplace, maybe watch on a bird's nest or something like that? It's gonna be great. Um, so I think this is gonna be a very, very successful camera for Sony. I think they're gonna sell the crap out of them just like they did the A7 IV and especially the A7 III. So stay tuned, this is gonna be uh, titled you know, video number one um, of how to use the A75 as a remote camera because we need the two to have the answer. Question one is, will Sony produce their own wired remote control, uh, push button control for this camera? Probably. When will they do that? I don't know. Um, now, if they don't, I'm still not all that concerned and here's why. Everything that is needed to trigger an A75 camera body is in the battery compartment. So if you think about when you put a grip on to a camera, and by the way, this camera takes the four grip, the VG4, um, when you take that, you have to take the battery out of the camera, you take the battery door off, then the, um, the grip itself has that big long protrusion that goes in and, and hits those contacts. And that's how the camera can work when you can fire it vertically. So we know that the camera is capable of being woken up and to fire from the battery compartment alone. So maybe what we need is a like a dummy battery that has a mini phone plug in it. That would be really cool. Maybe small rig or someone will produce something like that. So there's like kind of two options. There's a third option too. I was talking to a friend of mine at Sony 
And we were just talking about this and thinking out loud with each other, which we like to do because we geek out sometimes on technical stuff. And he mentioned the possibility that they could use the HDMI outlet as a remote trigger as well. And that kind of makes sense too. So um, even if there's not an apparent um, thing from Sony right now, I'm not terribly worried about it. I just want somebody to make it possible for me to use this as a remote camera at some point in the future. I've got a big track meet um, you know, workshop coming up in uh, April that I'm really hoping to be able to utilize the a7 V as a remote camera for like hurdles or whatever, just, you know, steeplechase, obvious places to, to use a remote camera. So I'm hoping that that will happen before then. But uh, stay tuned. And as we figure out how to get a pocket wizard to connect to the a7 V, I'll definitely let you know about it. Thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm.